guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here hello welcome if you are a returning subscriber hi thank you for coming back to watch my content my name is Deborah. i feel from lagos nigeria and today we would be talking about profitable business idea in nigeria i'm talking about business idea you will do that will give you more money that is lucrative if you have some cash tax up and you've been thinking about where you can direct the cash into what to do to multiply this money what business can you do that would give you more profit that can help you to hit your goal or achieve your dream at the end of the year you should watch this video till the end without further saying any parana can we please dive straight into action what i have here is start a car wash car wash is a business that is quite lucrative you do not need to be the one washing the car of course you would hire boys that can wash the car for you if you are located in a good environment or you look around it may not be your immediate environment it may be a bit far from you where is like a popular bus stop where people pass through and where people that have money that drive good car so the basic thing you need is a good location water soap and hire some guys that can wash this car for you actually take their car to car wash because they believe that an expert will be washing their car and the car will be cleaned in and out some people deliberately take their car to the car wash once a week some take it to the car wash two times in a week some once in two weeks so for an average nigerian that is okay and is driving it is expected that they take their car to a car wash so if you have the money all you have to do is to make sure you get a good location location matters get a good location and hire people that can wash car it is one of the most lucrative business you can do and invest money on i love this particular business because it kind of mitigates your risk your risk level is low so you basically need space water and people to wash the car you are not going through a lot of risk and a lot of things are under your control i hope it makes sense so the next point is open a gas shop gas is actually a big deal because it is a need and it is compulsory we need the gas to cook our food so if i'm cooking at the moment and i exhaust my gas i have to refill the gas or change to a gas that is filled so gas is what is used in every homes at least in nigeria that i know except for rural area where they use firewood gas is an essential like it is important and we cannot do without filling our gas and I have spoke to a couple of people that are into gas business and there's money in, in that business. It's just that I cannot do a lot of business at the same time because I have a lot of business ideas on my head. <laughs> so it is very lucrative and the guy was telling me how much he makes daily, how much he makes money. I'm like, what? Because the business was one business I did not feel would be making a lot of profit like that. But it is very profitable. Even if you have like three people on, on the same line, those people are making money it is very profitable and what you have to do is you get a good location a major road a good location you fill your cylinder you get someone to stay in the shop and you also go there of course by yourself you don't 100 percent put your business in someone and and before you know it you start boiling and all that gas is a very lucrative business and it's a business that i have related with people that into the business specifically and they told me point blank that there is money in gas business then you need a weighing scale so that you can set the exact measurements for people right then you need a physical location where people can come and buy that's all before you know it you are boiling <laughs> the next point is start a restaurant food business is something very lucrative yeah number one if you get a good location number two if you get good people that can cook good food it is important the food is good and delicious you cannot compromise on the food do you understand it's quite lucrative and if you have a good environment because most people most youth of nowadays when they go out like me when i go out with my husband and major it's not because we cannot i cannot cook food we are coming because of the environment so we can talk we have a nice time we take pictures for memories and all that so for restaurants it's quite profitable too if it's not profitable the likes of chicken republic would not keep expanding one thing i like about food is you can decide to choose your class you can decide to make it a local one where you sell it low and you can do the high class like chicken republic tantalizer kfc and all that what they sell for us is more like class above food the good environment we are coming to buy the ac 
If I go to KFC now, I'll spend 2000 If I go to Yasinbi beside me here, yeah. Yasinbi is actually imaginary. <laughs> so if I go to Yasinbi next door, if I buy a food of 400 naira or 500 naira, I would eat and would be okay. So if you are going for food business, you can decide, am I doing it low key? Yasinbi, Yataju, Baba Taju. Or I'm doing it, I, I wait. There's somewhere in Ibado, I'm a last guy. The day I went to that restaurant, you have to see how people are full. What did they say? They say Amala. Amala and Abula. They say swallow food majorly and they are making good money. Like, I think myself and my husband was talking about Amala Sky. Was it not last two months or whatever that? Those people, because there was a time we went there and we, ha we actually have to queue. I'm like, is it because of food? So it's quite um, lucrative. If your food is sweet that is the, that is the first thing you have to be sure you can source for your sweet food you can get people that are very good so perhaps your wife knows how to cook then she can supervise or perhaps before you hire those people they cook you buy the ingredients and you taste so that you can get the best out of the best what people come back for is the good food and the good environment if you compromise on food that business will flop from the beginning in fact it's dead on arrival so you have to make sure the food is on point so we can eat and we can enjoy yeah another lucrative business is sell raw food item i know we spoke about restaurant and that one is cooked food then if you want to sell raw food raw, raw food is very lucrative too because number one it is a need we have to eat every day even if you are fasting you have to break except if you want to fast and go and meet baba god on the journey you get it <laughs> so you have to eat if you get a good location, a strategic location, I'm emphasizing on strategic location because location is king. You have to make sure your location is good and okay. If your location is bad, no matter how much you invest in that business, the business would most likely flop. Okay, so selling food, raw food item is very good and lucrative because you have to eat. Then people do events from time to time. Weddings are always going on. Housewarming name is ceremony bridal shower um, and all that so festive period um, grown-up adults will buy food stuff and go and stock the house of their parents and all that so food is quite lucrative raw food rice in bag beans in bag gari in bag um, vegetable oil palm oil etc they are lucrative these people sell a lot if you have a good location okay then the next point is beauty service and service like this includes wig making making wigs for people fixing nail fixing lashes pedicure or manicure it is quite lucrative now you may be saying i do not know how to do these things you do not need to know how to do these things all you have to do is to hire people that can do it and you pay them as usual location is king before my wedding i went for my pedicure and manicure washed my feet and all that i fixed my nails i'm not a fan of fixing nail but, but you need to see the queue I met there. I went twice before my um, pre wedding pictures, then before my wedding. You need to see the queue. I spent actually a whole day. The first time I went was Bruta. It was a Saturday and I spent the whole day there. I left them around 9 and I go back home around 6 because there were a lot of people. And I went to do nails and I washed my feet. They call it leg washing. She did pedicure. But I did my pedicure, I did my manicure, and that was all I did. And because a lot of people were on grand, I had to wait. So the next day I went, I did not spend too much time because I went on a Wednesday. I had gone around 10. I still spent like three hours there just to do it. And that was because I was shouting that please help me. My wedding is tomorrow. My wedding was the next day. <laughs> And I had to leave on time. My wedding is tomorrow. Please attend to me. This is and I had told them earlier that I was coming on Wednesday. Not like you people did not know. That was what made it faster. So if you go to where they do manicure, pedicure, salon, you'll see Q and you'll be like, oh my god, these people are making a lot of money. And it's a business you should consider if you have the money you want to invest in a physical business. As usual location is king don't miss out the location okay another lucrative business you should consider is frozen food like chicken like turkey like titles fish gizzard and all that all you need is a good location freezer and generator oh my god there's money in this business when i say there's money believe me 
I will not, I will not say black and call it for you white now. So there's money in frozen food business. If you have the capital and if your capital is enough for frozen food, it is something you should go for. The next business you can consider is spa. Open the spa. See, eh? Before I got married, which was last year, December, I was trying to make research about spa, where I can do massage, where I can do my facials and all that. And I saw a lot of spa and I was in their charge. I'm like, hey, people of God, help me. Because they're always fully brooked. And it was still expensive at the same time. I'm like, 20,000, 30,000. 40,000 for massage and facial and guess what people are doing it I can see videos on some pages like queue of people doing it I could not do it because of time frame because I remember it like a month to my wedding and, and secondly I did not fit it into my wedding budget on time and thirdly I'm just like I beg my fresh is fresh I'm fresh enough <laughs> so that was why I choose not to do it considering the three factors I had listed but there's money in this business and I was hearing the charges, although their machines are expensive too. But when I was hearing the charges, I'm like, okay, so there's also money in the spa business. No, Allah. Another thing you should consider is a unisex saloon. This is lucrative and it grows quickly. The unisex saloon is a business that moves fast and grow on time because you enjoy the fire. The, the, the last time I went to make my air, I went to retort. It was a unisex saloon. When I came home, I refer them to my husband like, oh, when you want to pop your hair, there's this salon that where I did my hair and all that. Now, imagine the number of people that would refer them month by month. So, a man comes to make his hair, the next time he refers his wife to you. So, in this next salon, is lucrative and profitable and it grows faster and quickly. Okay? Starting a gym is a lucrative business. If there's something we are battling with in Nigeria, it's how to deal with our weight. Now, for a while now, I've been trying to look for gym around, but I've not seen because they are not kind of close to me. The ones I saw were quite far. So, gym, and that's because I want to keep in shape and I've been adding weight recently. And I blame it on my husband. I mean, I told him yesterday, I'm responsible for my weight. <laughs> that's a joke. So, I've been adding weight. He himself has been adding weight and we were talking of looking for a gym, but we've not seen one close by us the ones we saw are quite far gym business is quite lucrative because you want to keep in shape you want to look sexy you want to look fine you want to look beautiful and someone like me i used to procrastinate on exercise oh exercise i'll do it yeah. so i feel like if i register as a gym and i pay i'll be more serious with keeping fit because i kind of feel like i have paid for the service okay so gym business is fine. however if you are knowledgeable about fitness program, like you know what people can eat to make them healthy, to shed a particular fat in the part of their body, maybe something they can eat that can help with belly fat and all that, you can start a fitness program. Do you understand? So you can incorporate it with the gym. You can also hire people that can do that for you, the fitness part of the gym program. And I think this would give people faster results. Yeah, they would get fast results when they are eating right and they are also doing exercise. Then the next profitable business you can start in Nigeria is start a travel agency. I think with the way people want to leave Nigeria, almost everyone wants to leave and a same person would tell you that except God is telling you to stay in Nigeria, make plans to leave. Some people are planning to leave in the next 5 years, some are planning to leave in the next 10 years. I know that 40% of people that are living in Nigeria wants to leave Nigeria. Even though money is a big it's a big restriction for a lot of people to leave, but I am certain a lot of people want to leave Nigeria. If you are watching this video and you are in Nigeria and you want to leave, please write Japa in the comment section <laughs> because everyone wants to Japa. So if, you, so if you are knowledgeable about this this field, I think you can start, or if you know someone that is doing it, a trusted person, trusted emphasis on trusted, a trusted person that is doing this business, you can talk to the person. The person can put you through. And you collaborate with the person. Travel agency is profitable, and because it is something that people are always people always want to leave Nigeria for greener pasture, then people would always want to go for vacation at the end of the year and all that. So it's quite profitable. Another point is rental service. You can rent out things for a fee. 
if you have big pots at home i remember clearly then when they gave birth to my little sister my younger sister we went to rent the pots and all that so people rent pots they rent adogon the big have all these big pots at home you can rent it out for a fee it is a business and it is lucrative all you have to do is a physical space even some people do it from home like home like the place we went to rent my younger sisters that my younger sister she's now a big girl i can clearly remember if i see a picture i can attack she's now very big <laughs> so i can clearly remember when we did our name then i was quite young and all that so there's an apartment in our area that in front of their house they write rental service here rental service here port adogon and all that they rent spoons they rent plates and all that so it's a lucrative business some people rent chairs so when people are doing events like weddings in me we have to rent chairs you have to rent table so canopies chairs table port and all that it's a, it's a business you can start if you're in a good location once people know you come on you make good money yes and once you buy those items you keep renting them, you keep renting them, you keep renting them. Then you have terms and conditions. Perhaps if you break one of our chair, you'd pay 2000 naira as fine. Okay. The next profitable business idea is importation. I've been importing for four years, and importation is something that has catered for my needs. I've been able to buy assets from importation for security purposes. I don't want to disclose, but when you're talking about how you want to make money, profitable business ideas, importation is king. <laughs> it's one of the so it is your duty to research what you can sell that can give you money. I've sold bags, I sold shoes, I sold lavender oil, I've sold different things before I finally niched down on what I wanted to be selling, which was last two years. That was when I niched down. But importation is a sweet business and it's very profitable. And you sell more if you don't if you don't sell regular products. You sell a specific product. You can go online and search for all products you can sell, all products you can import from China. It is one of the ways you can make money. However, you need to learn how to sell. Selling is a, is a great skill you need when you want to start importing. If you import and you do not know how to sell, you are gonna lose. <laughs> so you have to learn how to sell. You have to be ready to make commitments and make investments. Take courses on how you can sell, on how you can run adverts on Instagram, on how you can create hashtag. I think very soon I'll make more video on how you can make Instagram adverts that convert to sales, and how you can leverage on hashtag. If this interests you, please click the subscribe button and like this video, okay? To tell me thank you in advance. <laughs> so importation is lucrative. However, you have to know how to sell. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching my content. I hope you got value today. Click the like button if you enjoyed this video. Also, subscribe so you don't miss any of my content when they come out. Also, turn on the bell notification so when I drop any video, you would be the first to see it. Thank you so much for watching my content and I'm going to see you in my next video.